I'm Brian Lowe again, and this time we're talking about the Steve Lukather setup from EMG, which I don't believe is available from EMG anymore since Steve went with uh, DiMarzio. Um, a great, great sound set of pickups. I'm still partial to the EMGs. These consist of a custom wound 85 for Luke and an SA and an SA, meaning Alnico, with just your standard volume and tone control on a five-way switch. This is my go-to guitar for like my LA stuff. Uh, it's a really great studio guitar because it's quiet like all EMGs are. And uh, let's just take you through the guitar sounds with no effects on it. So here's the rear pickup. Second position. Middle. Bridging, or not bridge and neck, but uh, middle and neck. And of course, the ever loving neck pickup. Just an all around really good basic set of pickups, especially if you like actives. They sound organic to me. So, and this was my go to guitar when I did the Jimmy Van Zant gigs, uh, including the memorial service. Um, at one point, this was my only Strat, and that's why I just, I like the Lukather's because I can distort up. With like a tube screamer, I can go heavier with like a Chandler tube driver, and that rear double coil. video on the David Gilmore setup you can tell a huge tonal difference in the two sets and why I keep a strat with uh, with the David Gilmore's and why I keep one with the Lukather's as well uh, this is just your standard 1993 uh, made in Mexico and there are some vicious rumors about the fire and how many of them are actually American guitars I don't know. All I know is the EMGs really liven this guitar up, as well as the Red Anniversary guitar. And the next guitar that we're going to look at is going to be my Fender American Pro with the Tim Shaw Shawbuckers and single coils.